Hello and welcome to Time Capsule Watches, Time Capsule Collection on Instagram for Canada and Time Capsule Collection LA for California residents. Today I'm going to show you how to swap your rubber band from your Rolex Daytona reference number 116520 into its original Oyster Elements. I'm going to show you what the markings, engravings on the inner side of the solid end links look like in case you're looking to purchase a Rolex Daytona in terms of you know comparison 116520 from serial number P as in Peter all the way to M serial with the older style clasp in this case a 78490 bracelet and buckle coat Action exquisite timepiece. Initially, I'm going to dismantle the clasp from 6 o'clock and 12 o'clock elements from the rubber band. And for that, I'm going to make sure that I use a full sized screwdriver. Now, most of my screwdrivers are either brand new or well polished just gonna dismantle this side here quickly you have to apply pressure vertically and for the other side it's going to be on the 12 o'clock position here and you're gonna be applying pressure vertically and then just slowly on a screw and make sure the, the pressure is going to be downwards on the screw in order for you to have full control of the tip of your screwdriver. Now this is the 6 o'clock position screw and this is the 12 o'clock position screw here. Now, these are different sizes, so you have to make sure the one that you take out from the six o'clock position is actually going to be marked that it is from the six o'clock position. The removing the rubber band from these spring bars that you see over here. Now, this is a delicate job. You have to make sure that you really don't scratch this part. Uh, have to be using the correct size screwdriver. In this case, I'm gonna go with my red screwdriver. And this is just, I just polished this recently. So I'm going to go on the edges here on this side. And there are two shoulders usually on these spring bars and you're gonna be just pulling the shoulders towards yourself. inwards and there we go got one off and as you can see with my other figure here I'm pushing this downwards the moment this is released the spring bar is gonna give out from the other side and I'm also holding with my other finger here, I'm holding the other side of the case, the entire lug down, in order to have full control over where the, the spring bar is gonna come off and go to. And there we go, we got the second one out. Now, we're gonna be... Now, I'm usually just comfortable starting from the six o'clock position because I know that this the shorter element here on this side is going to be facing this. After dismantling the clasp from the uh, 6 o'clock and 12 o'clock elements of, from the rubber. This is the 6 o'clock position screw for the 6 o'clock element and this here is the 12 o'clock position screw for the 12 o'clock elements for the clasp. Now I recommend that you keep the clasp closed at all times because if you know you don't pay attention uh, you could actually when you're installing the 6 o'clock position uh, element 
this part of the clasp could actually go to the go backwards to the other side and that could be troublesome for you so if you could actually just leave that closed at all times now I'm going to be picking up a screwdriver that fits these two and I'm going to start from the six o'clock position element here should be that way and I'm pushing downwards vertically and it's recommended that you actually put Loctite on the other side. Now I will also have a video about how to apply and take off Loctite from your bracelets. That applies to pretty much any watch that has uh, Loctite used on the screws and the connection on the links. I'm going to do the 12 o'clock position here. downwards and very slowly just getting that screw to find this position and then one final tuck there all right now the bracelets ready to be installed I am always somehow getting you know used to and comfortable with the six o'clock position element going in first Now for that, you would need to use your index finger on top and over. Over the connection with the very last oyster link to the end link right over. This part. you have a strong screwdriver where you can just grab the shoulder here and then just press in that's one side and then grab the shoulder here again while you're pressing with your index finger down these two would find their position and then you just use a smaller screwdriver to make sure those are tucked in perfectly sometimes they get stuck there now we're going to be doing the 12 o'clock position here comes the spring bar now to avoid the spring bar from going around you could just use some tape on your desk while where you're doing this and stick the spring bars there and they would actually just stick there until you need them. Like I said before, I'm going to do a very thorough video about how to apply Loctite and take off Loctite from your links. Again, on the same spot here, I'm going to be applying pressure downwards with my index finger while I push these I'll push the spring bar at the 12 o'clock position downwards and then grab the shoulder here and push it inward from the, the spring bar while I push it so I do one side that side's in and then I do the second side here Grab the shoulder, just push it in gently, and that's in also. I'm gonna make sure these shoulders are tucked in nicely. Now, at this point, you have your Daytona mounted back on its oyster stainless steel. And 
that's all that is done. Thanks for logging on and have a great day.